Welcome back to my channel guys, hopefully everyone's having a wonderful day. So today is Thursday and Jamie has been kindly invited to the Trinity Leeds Supper Club which is basically, if you don't know what Trinity Leeds is, it's a shopping centre but at the top of their shopping centre they have, I suppose you could call it a food court that changes every so often and every so often they hold a um, supper club so Jamie has been kindly invited so we're going to go get yeah, basically stuff ourselves with food so yeah that's probably where you'll see us next. So we've arrived at the Trinity Kitchen Supper Club and yeah really nice atmosphere, I love up here. It's Technically, the food court is about 20 different vendors, and you just pick and choose, and you yeah, just sit down in the middle. So, yeah, I'm gonna order some food and yeah, just sit down because I'm starving. So, I've been a very bad vlogger, and I totally forgot to show you and tell you of what we ate first. I'm not entirely sure which vendor it's from, but it was a really nice chicken tikka wrap with a really, really nice sauce. Um, and a little bit of cucumber, a little bit of tomato, but it'll be up on the blog by the time you said it. So, and we'll try to remember to leave the link down below. So, yeah, I'm going to order something else and just sit and chill. Today's Thursday, and as you can probably tell by all the noise and the people passing us, we're in Leeds because we've both been kindly invited to the Lush Spa Karma Treatment Lodge, which, yeah, as we all know, I love me a bit of Lush, so, yeah, really looking forward to checking it out. But and have a little bit of a wander around these because I need to pick up a few things. Um, but yeah, I'll see you when we get to Lush. So we've arrived at Lush and we're getting ready for the Karma Spa event. Really looking forward to it. I love Lush and um, loving all the smells, but yeah, we're a little bit early, so we're just going to have a little bit of a wander around. So we're in Lush. We ended up doing the Karma Spa treatment sort of demo, which is amazing. Uh, kind of got a look on the Karma, which is a big step. Uh, I love Karma. Camel cream, I love that patchouli in the sort of autumn, that spice sort of thing. But now we're at the perfume section, which has now been done up with wash cards, brand new bottles, and brand new solid perfumes. And even though I'm lowering the camera, I'm going to try and show it to you if I can. If not, I'll do another clip and actually show you properly. But yeah, we're at the perfumes, and all of the new ones smell amazing. So, as you've just seen, I've been to the Lush Leaves Spa Karma Spa Treatment Lodge, which is a mouthful. And like always, whenever I go to a Lush Spa event, they gave me a little bag of goodies and I thought I would show you it. So let's dive in. The first thing I got, I'm not actually going to show you because it's something I made. Yes, we were allowed to make, um, it's called the Butter Bear, which is the bear, I suppose you call it, shaped bubble bar. No, it's not a bubble bar, it's a, what is it, a bath bomb that they released at Christmas, which has got loads and loads of cocoa butter in it which smells oh, gorgeous but I had to get it out of its packaging because it's still setting it takes 24 hours for it to set so I can't touch it till then but yeah um, what else did I get and I got this which is the marmalade jelly ball which sounds really strange but if you check out my blog post which I will leave down below I've also used this before and reviewed it so I'll remember to leave that link down below, but oh, it smells really nice. It's like, a, it's like a masculine orange scent, so I really like that. And then we got given two camera things. The first one is this, which is the camera bubble bag. I'm getting bits everywhere. Um, and this comes in a pyramid, so we'll see how I get on with that, but... It also, it's just me whilst I'm filming. The top bit, as you can see on the pyramid, it's very shiny. That's because it's a bath melt on the top that Ooh. has gluster embedded. So that silver bit on the top, if you can see, that's actually a bath melt. So you get a bubble bath and a bath melt within one. Oh, I do know that. Looking forward to using that. And then the last and final thing that I got given was actually a spa exclusive. So you can only get this if you get the cow spa treatment. And it's... This and it's the Karma and Bath Bomb. Well, at least we think it is because we can't find it on the website, so that's what name we've given it. But oh, it's it's kind of sweeter than the bubble bar. But yeah, really like that. But yeah, that's everything that I got given at the Lush Leeds Spa Spa Treatment Lodge. Today is Friday, and as you can probably tell, we're in Leeds. We're actually in a very busy weather spoon because I'm starving. Um, and I didn't really want to vlog in the train station because um, it was like hell on earth. I got walked into, I got pushed over, my kid got trapped under several suitcases and prams and yeah, just few people. So didn't particularly feel like vlogging in the train station. But we've been very kind of invited to a launch event by Admiral's Grooming. I think that's how you pronounce it. And um, it's a new and upcoming men's cosmetics company. So yeah, we're going to go check that out. It's meant to be a really, really nice night. But 
as I said, we were both starving, so we thought we'd head to a weather space. So, yeah, I'll probably see you when we finally arrive at the event. <laughs> Lush Lee Star and Lush Rat Rose because their Christmas and Halloween ranges have come out. I mean, granted, I did place a very large order online a couple of weeks ago, so yeah, I'm gonna go stock up on the ones that I've used and check out a few more. But yeah, that's probably where you'll see us next. So, we've arrived at Cosmo Looks um, with you guys. I don't think they know what's going on, so that'll be fun once we've eaten everything. But yeah, that's the sort of candle, marble sort of table, loops there. And if you can see, there's lots of different stations with food on, so I'm going to grab some food and um, we'll see what we'll come back with. So we had some starters, which included some nice Thai fish cakes, some nice goujons that were fish, uh, some spring rolls, some Cajun chips, uh, and some salads, like potato salad and um, coleslaw and everything like that, and some breadsticks. And now we're on to the sort of mains, and the two main ones that they do, is this pork belly with mustard mash and it just looks divine it's in a little small it smells gorgeous that well. it smells apple and meaty and that sort of spice mm. and mustard which would be a great autumn mm. dish and then i've also got cockle van which is an other specialty dish which i've never tried but we're going to try a bit and see what we think of it and we'll try and do another clip when we can get more food or probably desserts so yeah we'll talk to you then so i'm now back and i thought i would show you a few of the things that i got whilst i was in leeds so the first place I went to was Lush, which, yeah, it's kind of obvious, but I got four things from there. The first thing I got was this. I'm not going to take them out of their packaging, because if I take them out of the packaging, I won't be able to get them back in. But this is the Magic of Christmas Reusable Bubble Bar. I think that's what it's called. It's a little star. It smells of cinnamon and clove and, ugh, yeah, really spicy, like that. It also has a bell on the end of it, so, you know, something weird. Um, I also got this, which is a bubble banner, which is the man in the moon, and this smells of lime. Oh. Really like that. Um, I also got the sherbet dip bath bomb, which is that, which is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be really small, but it's probably the same size of the lush yellow submarine in comparison to size. So. Yeah, smells of lime again, like that. Um, and then the last thing from Lush I got was a bath melt, and it's called Treed. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's T R W E apostrophe D, so I'm going to guess. And it's um, a bath melt, and it's basically two kind of tree shaped bath melts that interlock together to make a 3D tree. So, oh, it's very orangey. Yeah, love that. Um, just put that over there. Okay, I then went to Love Verona, and the first thing I got was this which is a medium jar of one of my favorite candles which is the yankee candle forbidden apple oh. don't mind me making strange noises and if i remember right that it's got um apple pop no apple black oak vanilla noir and bergamot in it so yeah really looking forward to burning that again because i've missed that and then i've got four wax melts um I'm not sure if I remember the names of all of them because these are all four new scents from the Yankee Candle Christmas collection and I think there's Spiced White Cocoa, The Magic of Christmas, um, Sparkling, 
sparkling fire something and the perfect Christmas. I think that's what they're called. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, they're all very spicy and cinnamon and yeah, just what you want around the Christmas period. I'll just put these back in that bag. Uh, just put that back in that bag, just otherwise I'll lose it. And then the last place I went to was Home Sense. Now, I could spend a lot of money there, but yeah. The first thing I got was this, which is a candle. I can't remember what brand this is or what it's called, but it's very, it smells like apple pie and it was eight quid. Um, I'll put a bit more into the camera, I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm not sure what it's called, but I'll try and remember to leave it, you know, link down below. <sighs> really like that. Um, and I've got two ornamenty things. The first one was, now, I know it's October, but screw it, which is this, and it's a snow globe, and just give it a shake, because I like doing this. But yeah, this was eight quid. There was other ones, which were bigger, ones that were smaller. I think the biggest one was... 15 quid, which is about twice the size of this, but I couldn't carry that home with me, so I got this one. And to match that, I got let's see if I can, this, which is a little polar bear. Isn't he adorable? But there was only one of him, so I may have to send Jamie back and see if he can find me another. I'll bring that a bit closer so you can see it. But yeah, that was three quid, and it's, you know, proper, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, Porcelain, I suppose you call it. Ceramic. Pot, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I need to get another one to match. But yeah, that's everything that I bought today. Today's Wednesday and we're in Bramley because we've been really kindly invited to McDonald's Bramley to come and check out all of the McDonald's signature range because they've launched um, a really cool new box with a designer. So we're going to go check all that out. Um, so yeah, I'll see you when we get to McDonald's. It's the spicy. So it's an individual taste, right? It really surprises me because, to be honest, we sell a lot of barbecue stuff in this restaurant. So it was a real surprise to me that we sell the spicy. It's actually followed by the classic, and then barbecue comes in third position. And in order to have a look at some of the creative design that Julian used when putting together the box that he designed. So the food has finally arrived, and we both went with the signature collection and um, barbecue one, which. I can't remember what's in it, I will try and remember to leave it down below, but yeah, really hungry, so I'm going to dive into this because, as I said, I'm starving. Today is Wednesday, and as always, we're in Leeds because we're being really kindly invited to two events. The first one is the Body Shops Christmas Preview, which I'm really looking forward to, because as we know, I love a Christmas preview, so get really looking forward to that. And then we're also going to be going to check out the Trinity Leeds Kitchen new menu, street food things. Basically, they have a selection of street food vendors, they change them up about every two or three months. So yeah, we're going to go check out all the new ones there, but as always, I want to pop into Lush and Lush Soap and other places. So yeah, I'll probably see it when we get to the body shop. So we're just about to head into the body shop and really looking forward to what the night might have in store. Because uh, as we all know, I love Christmas. So yeah, let's see what happens. So we're at the body shop. My voice has been going all week, but we're at the Brigitte flagship store and there's new Christmas stuff, including Frosted Plum, the Berry, and then oh, there's the Vanilla Chai. I'm trying to go at the shop, but it's not real, going to work. And then there's a the personalised body butter thing sort of here. But yeah, not real keen on vanilla chai. No, neither am I. It's very synthetic. Mm. I think my favourite is probably the plum. And then the berry, I can take or leave. If someone gave me it as a gift, I'd happily like accept it. But it's I not think I'd like yeah. to use. I think I'm the other way. I quite like the berry more than the plum. I think the plum's good if you're layering. But mm. anyway, we'll try and vlog more when we can figure out what's going on. So it's now Thursday and unfortunately we didn't end up going to the Trinity Lee's kitchen thing because um, a fire alarm went off so what they've done is they've given us a gift card and we'll probably use it the next time we're in Leeds but whilst I was at the body shop they very kindly gave me a massive goodie bag and I thought I would show you a few things that are in it so first thing I got is this which is a selection of their four mini um, shower gels and I think there's strawberry, satsuma, mango and green tea in there so yeah really looking forward to using them. Um, this now i don't think i'm ever going to use this so i might pass it on to someone but it's called their silver shimmer and it's supposed to make you look like you're glowing but yeah i don't think i'm ever going to use that so I'll probably pass that on um a minute of their mango body butter really like this it's an amazing scent strange smells of apricots not mango but really like that 
um, a mini of the banana shampoo. Really like that. So, yeah, go we'll use that. Um, um, what's this? Um, a frosted berries hand cream. I love this scent. So, yeah, really looking forward to using that. And then I got um, a bath bomb of the same scent. A bath bomb of the frosted plum scent. And then a few other samples and also this, which is a tree-shaped vanilla chai soap. Not a massive fan of their vanilla chai scent, so probably won't use this, probably pass this on to someone, but yeah, really like that because it's really nice and cute. But yeah, that's everything that I got given at the body shop. Today's Thursday and as you can probably tell, we're in Lee's train session because we've both been very kindly invited to the Lush Christmas event now. Both me and Jamie are really, really excited because as we all know, I love Lush and I love Christmas, so I'll put the two together and Luke's really happy, but also, Costa have released their Christmas drinks and I've been waiting for them to release their drinks all year because I love their Black Forest hot chocolate, so yeah, that's probably where I'm going to go first. So we finally arrived at the Costa and I have my first Black Forest hot chocolate this season and I thought I'd taste it for you like you know, see whether or not it's changed because they like to change it every couple of years, but let's see. Really, really nice. If you are a Costa or a pasta a Costa, dip in and get yourself one of these, especially around this time of year, because they're really nice. It's very, it tastes just like a black forest hot chocolate, it's really, really nice. But yeah, I'm going to sit here and enjoy this and yeah, just kind of chill before we go to the Blush Christmas event. So we've popped to Trinity Kitchen because, as I said, we had a voucher very kindly given to us, so we thought we'd use it before going to Blush because both me and James are absolutely savvy. But there's loads of little different vendors around here, so we're going to check a few of them out and hopefully have some tasty food. Uh, lighting's a bit weird just because there's fire lights going on, but we're at Lush Christmas 2017 week event and just sniffing all the bath bombs and doing the new ones and there's fun rain which looks absolutely loving at the minute. It's really nice. But yeah, we'll talk when we can. So we've been wandering around for a little while and we're now in the Lush Spa downstairs in the Spa Kitchen which is meant to represent like um, a home kitchen. So we're going to have a look at the different treatments and yeah, see everything that is to be had. So it's been quite a while now but we're finally home. Do excuse the mess and if you hear any sniffling or strange noises it's because Riley's also laid next to me but Whilst I was the leads, I popped into Home Sense, you know, my new favourite place, and I bought two candles, so I thought I'd show you what they are. And the first one is this, which is by a brand called Olivia Blake, and this is called Red Grape and Cedar, and this smells... Oh. It's got a slight fruity but masculine scent to it, so yeah, really going to like burning that. And the second one is this, which is by a brand called Peck Sniff. And it's a grapefruit and citron one, and this smells. Oh, really, really nice too. But yeah, I'm going to enjoy burning that. Um, I did buy a third one, but that's for someone's Christmas present, so can't really show you that. But yeah, I'm actually going to end the vlog here now. So if you like this, remember to like, subscribe, you know, do all the usual things. And yeah, I'll probably see you. When's the next time I'm going to see you? Let me think. Oh yeah, film me when I start Vlogmas, so. Yeah, I'll see you when I start Vlogmas.